Okay, so uh, again, the examples for unsigned division by instruction div. Let's take a look. So it's pretty straightforward. We have dividend, we have the divisor, and we generate portion and remainder. Okay, so that's that's expected. All right, uh, so we can just basically copy and paste all this into a, a sample project, uh, and we just can use our, our main uh, procedure for this. We build. Okay, and uh, so we should uh, definitely, if we uh, go to debug and uh, step uh, into to start debugging session and immediately stop so we can just check uh, the registers uh, right here um, and uh, I'm just going to, uh, to to step by pressing F10 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 and divide F10 so what we have uh, produced here is uh, um, AL contains 41 and AH contains uh, 0 1 so this is the remainder of the division because 83 hexadecimal um, is um, an uh, odd number. So we have the remainder. Another example, let's go debug, stop debugging. Uh, so we have another uh, situation where we basically uh, dividing um, uh, register um, Dividing register um, AX okay. by the value, uh, the divisor is register CX. So both are 16 bit. So AX divided by CX. Uh, however, we must remember to clear the upper, um, um, the, the, the remainder, um, basically, um, the high part of the dividend. Um, is going to be in register DX. If we do not clear the, the DX right here, if we do not clear this, and it just contains some kind of garbage value, it, would, it will be uh, interpreted as we're dividing uh, register um, DX uh, combined with register AX altogether 32-bit value uh, by value in register CX. So this is very important. This is like the most, the most, the easiest thing to forget. Uh, just uh, say I divide AX by CX, but you must remember that DX is also involved, which you don't see here, right? So here divide by CX, so you're just thinking about value in AX, but in reality, you need to clear the high part of the dividend, which is registered DX. And you always need to know which one uh, is the higher um, higher part. So in uh, cases with uh, um, basically uh, doing a 32-bit uh, unsigned division, uh, we have the um, uh, the input uh, for the dividend um, will be uh, basically 64-bit. And this is kind of interesting. This is quad word, uh, which is a 64-bit value like this. So you can um, uh, manipulate 64-bit uh, values in memory using 32-bit uh, platform x86 on Intel. Uh, and uh, so here, uh, of course, uh, what we need to do is um, is load uh, uh, the high double word and low double word. We we need to load both of them into the pair of EDX and EAX. But the initializer can be used as 64-bit, which is kind of cool. So you can uh, express 64-bit uh, integer numbers like this, but uh, use the appropriate uh, memory uh, uh, memory allocation directive, like quad word, which is a 64-bit size value. So here we have to manage this kind of dividend by the, these two instructions, and then divide by divide by the divisor. And here the divisor is uh, also uh, directly in memory. So we're um, dividing these two numbers, and these should be the, the results. OK, so this is relatively straightforward. Just to remember uh, how things uh, um, are applied and what the operands are when you apply those division instruction formats. So the sign division uh, is um, pretty much the same. 
um, but um, uh, there's one one um, a step, one extra step uh, that uh, we need to manage sign extension. There are actually three um, uh, sign extension uh, instructions, which uh, stand for for convert byte to word, convert word to double word, and convert double word to quad word. Okay, so these these are the three instructions that that are used. So uh, so what they do is they uh, do a sign extend. Uh, in the first uh, situation, uh, CBW convert byte to word extends register AL, right? So uh, CBW right here extends register AL into AX. So it's going from uh, 8 bit to 16 bit, extending like this. Then the next example here is. Um, um, extending word to double word, which is 16-bit to 32-bit, uh, um, and uh, uh, the instruction extends the sign bit of AX into DX register. So that's kind of a little weird uh, when the, when you're using 16-bit. But remember, this uh, uh, assembler um, has originated on a 16-bit platform and even had the roots into 8-bit um, uh, chip architecture. So this is why it's it's it has its its visibility. It shows its its age in 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 situations like this with these uh, instructions. And so the quad word uh, is extending uh, EAX into the combination of EDX and EAX treated as a 64-bit value. So here clearly sign bit is set because the um, the sign bit uh, here is definitely negative. And so, of course, we just sign extend like that. And uh, you do it. Uh, so this applies only to these specific combinations of registers that are typically used for the results of app applying division instructions. So um, uh, sign division uh, in uh, examples right here performs, of course, the sign integer division using the same operands as the division instruction for unsigned. And it's interesting that the results, the flags right here, the flags are all undefined. So apparently it's just doing um, the, essentially it's all wired in such way that the flags uh, are not usable. Um, and therefore, by the way, uh, of course, if you need to preserve some flags, you, you have to make sure that you preserve your flags before, uh, before applying the division. It's just something to remember that this will be kind of messed up after uh, applying uh, both of these division instructions. So minus 48 divi uh, uh, divided by 5. So the, qu uh, the quotient will be negative, minus 9, um, and uh, the remainder will also be negative, uh, minus 3. Okay, And so what is happening here is that um, we prepare the dividend and we also prepare the divisor. But we just have to remember that this is our dividend. And if you want to, um, I mean, the rules are that if you are taking this 8-bit value and you're planning it to, to divide it by, by another 8-bit value, you have to insert this, which will basically sign extend your original 8-bit that you're trying to divide by another 8-bit right here, AL divided by BL. But you have to remember to use this in the middle to make sure that you sign extend into AX. Okay, so that's the rule. Uh, similarly, in 16-bit situation, again, you prepare your dividend and you're planning to use AX because that's your only choice with this format of the instruction with single operand. But you need to remember to sign extend. It's just like mechanically you need to apply the correct instruction and sign extend AX into a combination of AX and DX and then do your division. Basically set your divisor and do your division. And once again, uh, ne a negative number divided by a positive number, there will be negative, um, uh, a negative uh, quotient, negative result of the division, and the remainder will also be negative in this situation. 
and so finally the result of even larger uh, larger um, uh, format right here so we use the double word but uh, again we need to remember that we must uh, sign extend our EAX 32-bit uh, that we're trying to divide by another 32-bit, but uh, CDQ will properly sign extend EAX into EDX as if this was a single register containing all of these 64 uh, bits. So once again, the result is negative and uh, the remainder is also negative. So these are some uh, some examples. So it's not too bad, but just something to remember with these uh, sign extend in order to properly uh, to make sure that all the registers are ready for uh, for the division operation. So this is a little scary right here. Um, let's try this example. I just uh, cannot uh, uh, overlook this when <laughs> we're just about to make something that will crash the, the program. So let's take a look. First of all, let's close this one program already um, and uh, go back to our project, um, I guess. Um, and I can just uh, replace our older version here. So let's see. So this is a situation that's called uh, divide overflow. Uh, so let's talk about this. And let's see what, what the behavior is. So I'm just going to build this. And uh, I will press F5 or debug, uh, start debugging, and just see what happens. And um, uh, this, is, uh, this is the kind of exception that uh, CPU generates and interrupts the program here. And it's one of those uh, things uh, that uh, are similar to division by zero. So it has, says unhandled exception uh, as a result of this right here. Um, and the, 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 the exception name is integer overflow. So let's consider what uh, what is happening here. Let's just say debug, stop debugging. We just observed this very strange uh, error uh, situation. So if division operand produces a quotient, which is the result of the division, which is too large. So again, uh, if we take register uh, AX, for instance, right? And we divide it by the value in register BL, uh, right? Uh, so, um, of course, the result, the, the, the quotient, is ex expected to be placed here in register AL, right? So the, the, the actual result of the division is expected to occur, to be placed in register AL when taking the 16-bit divided by 8-bit. But if BL is too small in such way that we originate from 16-bit uh, size data, and now we're trying to divide it, hoping that the result of the division will be basically this 16-bit divided by this will be small enough to fit in here, and it's not the case, then we have this uh, <laughs> program crash. We have um, this uh, integer overflow. So this is something to be avoided um, at all costs because there is no way to sort of like prevent this by some sort of exception catching. This is handled by the hardware. Uh, there is no uh, way to say, I want to try this and catch an exception. Uh, it's not catchable. Uh, you have to prevent this um, uh, somehow. And the simple uh, idea uh, can be uh, to... Um, uh, reduce the probability of this and use uh, the 32-bit uh, divisor uh, so that uh, we have basically more space to uh, hope that we will accommodate the result correctly. So even with relatively small number, it's just safer to go to 32-bit mode rather than uh, playing uh, with the smaller data types um, because this may have uh, strange, strange uh, result like this.